What does U.S. MAP stand for? Uh, U.S. MAP is the United Service Military Apprenticeship Program, and uh, it's sponsored by Department of Labor. And it is what it says it is. It's an apprenticeship program for us in the military, you know, Marine, Coast Guard, um, Navy, Navy Reserve. Uh, so U.S. MAP and that credentialing program, when you go online, that's where you, this is the program where you're logging the hours. So if you worked um, six hours, you know, uh, during the workday on a specific, like IT or ET, and you worked on equipment repair or troubleshooting, those kinds of things, then in U.S. MAP, when you click that ray, IT, ET, or what have you, uh, we'll take ET, and you click ET, and then you log the hours under what it gives you the information for, you know, whether it's troubleshooting or customer service or um, installation or those kinds of things. And so you're logging how many hours you've done that, correct? Yes. And so how many hours does it take to get a, an apprentice certificate from U.S. MAP? Um, hours can range from 2,000 to 10,000 hours, depending on the rate that you're, you know, you know, some rate, rates are more technical than others, so they require more, more hours to be logged. So it um, depends on the rate that you're, you're logging in for. So what was the intent, do you think, with the Department of Labor when they established U.S. MAP to do these apprenticeship uh, certifications that were equal to Department of Labor trade skills? for the military. What was the intent here? I think the intent was to better prepare us when we get out, you know, to, you know, to meet the civilian workforce. You know, they wanted to give us something that when once we, we get out, we can have it to hand into the hands of the whoever is hiring us and say, listen, this is what I accomplished. And, you know, because not everybody wants to do college, you know, but some people would rather do a trade. And this is a way to connect us with the civilian workforce. Well, I couldn't have said that any better you know, a great way to connect us with the civilian workforce uh, in that trade skill, particularly with things like electrician, mm -hmm. um, where you have that apprentice journeyman type of certificate uh, and uh, trade skill training and so forth. So, okay, so how much does that cost? Uh, that costs just your time. I want to thank you for coming today and uh, making us all a little bit smarter. And I think the challenge is out there to our audience Challenge on uh, for Europe and Africa. Let's see how many we can get, you know, by the end of the year enrolled in U.S. MAP and certificates and credentials done through there and see how many maybe cool credentialing connections we can make and uh, maybe we can get a career council report at the end of the year and kind of throw that out there.